Grand Rise, fam. It's another beautiful day. I was sitting here and I was thinking, you know, about this whole debacle with Eligio and the havoc that he has systematically just laid on everybody's lives. He has laid families to waste. And then I was having a talk with an associate of mine, very close uh, sister. And again, she dropped a little knowledge on me. You know, I'm not afraid to say that I don't know everything, you know, especially about international matters. I'm not a well-traveled person. So there's some things I just don't know. But we were discussing the situation of Tori, a.k.a. Joy. And she brought some stuff to my attention about, again, the way Panama law operates. You know, she's a very intelligent sister. And she dropped the knowledge on me that the way that the law works in Panama, the fact that Joy and Nubian were not married would not stop Joy from getting home. She doesn't need Nubian to sign those papers. She can come home because the way it is set up, most people would think, oh, that baby was born in Panama. That's a Panama citizen. Nah, baby. That baby, Nubia, is an American citizen born on foreign soil. And that is only strengthened by the fact that Joy is a veteran. She's former military. All right? So there are several avenues that this sister can take. Now, I know for a fact that the information I'm about to uh, lay on y'all has already been um, has already been forwarded to her. So um, I hope she takes heed. I hope she uses it because she can go to the embassy and get her papers, get up out of there. She can leave. If she has money to get a plane ticket, she can go. That's if her passport is in order, right? She can leave. So, um, shout out to Angel Dominique. I was watching her uh, video this morning where she played a, a live that Joy did saying that she was still stuck there. Not sure if Joy knows the full advantages that she has being a veteran of the United States Army, but that $350 that she was given back out of her own money that still gets me but that money can go so much further because if there is an army base or an army outpost anywhere in Panama being a veteran she can go to that army base and live on base they will honor that because she is a veteran and she served her and her baby they can be in a place of safety. All right? She can go there and they will give her refuge. And uh, I don't know exactly how the army works. I can't, I can't say that or whatever service branch she was in. I'm not sure exactly how military, how military law works, but I'm pretty darn sure if she is a veteran stranded in a foreign country with her child, that the military could help her get back here to the States and get back home. I am sincerely happy. Not sure exactly uh, if she's telling the truth or not. That's not my place to judge. That's not my place to judge. But I am glad that uh, she's in her right mind. I'm glad that she got to talk with her mother. 
I'm glad that her mother gave her some love and some understanding, gave her a little peace of mind. I am sincerely happy for that. I really don't concern myself too hard with, you know, the things that go on in carbonation and the latest episode and, and foolery that goes on within that cult. But it really kind of uh, touched my heart that this woman was stranded in a foreign country with only $350 and a three-month-old baby. You know, I'm not one to put money off the bed or like, you know, old heads in, in, in my line used to say, we don't feed frogs to snakes. You know, so therefore that's not where my money would be going. However, this is just something for the edification of all the people out there that are watching and looking and like, oh man, she's stranded, she's stranded, she's stranded. I didn't know, I don't know if it's ever occurred to anyone to even look up the laws in Panama. Because the way it stands right now, even if she married a Panamanian, even if she married him, her child would still be considered an American. It would not be considered a Panamanian citizen just because its father was Panamanian. It would go with the mother's nationality because she is still an American citizen. That child is an American citizen born on foreign soil. And reiterate that. Therefore, it has rights under American citizenship. But the fact that she had that baby with Nubian... She doesn't need Nubia's signature. They were not legally married. You know, um, I'm from the South, y'all. So, you know, what they were doing is what we call shacking. All right? They were shacking and they just happened to have a baby together. So while that baby does share that parentage with both of them, that baby can still come home. She doesn't need Nubian's signature on a piece of paper to bring her and her child home. So if that's all that's stopping her, baby, the road is clear, Tori. You go to the embassy. You do what you got to do. You don't need his signature. If there's an army base within your reach, take advantage of that, sweetheart. You serve this country. Let this country give you something back and get you home. Use your veteran status to get you back home. That's just a little bit of information I don't know if anybody has even thought about or even thought to look up. Because I hadn't. But I'm thankful for the sisterhood that's willing to impart information and pass it on. So I'm going to do my part in the sisterhood, and I'm passing it on. But I do know that this information has been forwarded to her, so now it just remains to be seen. Like my son says, you got to want it. How bad does she want to come home? Will she take this information that has been forwarded to her and use it to the best of her ability for the good of her and her child that remains to be seen but I just want to jump on here and uh, put that little tidbit out there you know moving past the drama and, and the theatrics and the hysteria and everything that's going on about the deportations and everything just want to lay a little law out there and like I said in my previous video you know, I am not in the legal field. I'll be the first one to tell everybody that. But I will ask questions. I will do a little research to find out what's going on. But again, you don't need Nubian help to get out of that country, sweetheart. Use what you got. You have veteran status. 
you and your baby are American citizens. Use it. And get yourself and your baby home to safety. Like you said in your video, if that's truly what you want, you have an open avenue. It's time to, I mean, you've already gotten started on that long walk home, baby. You don't make great strides. Keep walking, baby. You'll get there. This is Indigo, y'all. I got to get back to my daily life. I just want to drop that. Y'all be good to yourselves. Self-love is key. Love yourself or you can't love nobody else. And can't nobody love you because you haven't shown them how. Peace out.